Alright, collapsing is underway. Should have ample noise. Some beautiful background music. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey. I very much want this to be over. But, since I've been at this for three weeks, I've decided it's going to be much more fun if I have something to be doing while talking, basically. Because it's going to be a lot of this. Uh, so instead of editing... well, I'm probably going to edit it down still. But instead of um, only editing it down, I've decided that it's going to be a lot more fun to just be talking along. You can come along with me on the journey. The journey for sub-56. There's no guarantee that I get it tonight. But I figure that if I record everything, uh, there will be a better chance that I stay focused and don't have a lapse of judgment on stairs like I have every other attempt. attempt. So far tonight, before I started recording, I got one attempt to the end of the game, and it wasn't even sub-58 because of spinner cycles. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought that would be good. That was actually a really good start. You may be wondering, why do I have the getting over it music? Um, for those of you that don't know, and it is on my channel, uh, I used to play a lot of Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. So... This is bringing me back to the focus I used to have in my long nights awake spent working on getting a thousand wins and getting over it with Bennett Foddy. I don't exactly know how I'm going to structure this video. If it's up to me, which it is, I'm just going to uncut it. No need for conversation or anything. I'm going to try really hard not to say anything I will regret. And I think being on camera is going to prevent me from getting mad. Because this game can be somewhat infuriating. I'm not going to make the spinner cycle, but I want the practice. I keep not getting the slope speed. I don't know what's going on there. It's really starting to bother me. Might as well just finish it out. Yeah, whatever. I want practice on this. I've really gotten better at elevator skips since I started doing refresh seriously. I've been getting an average of four elevator skips per run recently, which is quite nice. And it's not a, as stressful anymore. That's an example of a mistake I will not be making on the Miracle Run. If by any chance you're a top runner who's watching at this exact moment in the video, then I want to demonstrate why in the world sometimes when you reset the timer it doesn't go and sometimes it does? Right now, who are you? Okay, so right now, whoops, when I reset I'm not, but if I stand on any moving object that moves you vertically and reset, it'll, it'll move you, because the way it starts your timer is it checks and waits until you have uh, moved from the X position 500. So even a slight positional change, including... And, and what happens is the platform speed, like the speed that the game gets from you standing on the platform, isn't reset until after the first frame that you've reset. Um, I guess the... Um, 
like the platform speed checks happen after player movement. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, but that is why. That is why it glitches. I could very easily change that. Like right there. I could very easily change that and have it prevent that from happening. But what's the fun in that? <laughs> Besides, then it's technically not the same project, and I'm trying to I'm trying to keep the speedrunning build as accurate as possible. I have a fan running in the background. I know that in Audacity I can edit it out later, but it's gonna make it a slight pain. But hey, a cool a cool speedrunner is it better than a quiet speedrunner. Yeah. I haven't been keeping count. Maybe we're at 10 potential runs where I got speed. That might be a huge overestimation. I'm not gonna promise to put up a counter or tally of all the attempted runs that got past this part of the game, because honestly that's so much work in DaVinci. editor of choice. Oh no, I pressed E instead. Aw, oh, that's gonna kill it. My finger slipped for a second because of nerves. I don't even think that was on a... I mean, it was a good run. Sub-23. Elevator cycle. Going into a... Stairs. I'm gonna finish it out because it's gonna end up being like 57-ish. No, oh, okay, 58. Hey, with a missed elevator skip, that's not half bad. Alright, first finished run. Now the nerves can go away because I've done it all. That was a really good stair, actually. That might be the best I've ever done stairs, which sucks it happened on that run, but... Hey, pretty cool regardless. There will probably be long sections that I'm gonna have to either edit out or speed up or just do something about because it'll just be me staring. Staring at the screen, waiting for this trick to pan out. Chances are I'm gonna edit in, like, in the description or timestamps for every potential run. Because there's probably gonna be enough that I can do that. It is kind of funny, though. How rare they are. It's weird too, because there will be times where I do this trick 20 times and don't get a good run. Do it five times in a row other times. It's just inconsistent. That bit right there, jumping off the spinner. I feel like it's exact- yeah, like, that looked like exactly the same thing. So why did it not give me speed and the other time did? And why did it give me less speed? Probably because I long jumped- or high jumped. A frame too late. There we go. Oh, never mind. There we don't go. That was sad. I didn't realize how little speed I had. Oh well, I'll continue it. Got good slope speed. It's still technically ahead, because just Getting some amount of slope speed is better. Okay, no, no, it's not. But it's still fun. I'll continue it. Ah, okay. I'm gonna do a refresh percent run just for nerves. Ah, what am I doing?
I don't know why I'm resetting with the, uh, I mean, I know exactly why. I use Q to, as a macro, not a macro, it's just a key bind on my keyboard's layout that lets me change it to be mouse click. That way I can just press the button that I would usually press to reset, and it just clicks the green flag. Whee! Who doesn't love a little suboptimal gameplay? Oh, okay, I'm down here now. It's not frustrating at all. I'm just gonna wait. All that matters is that I get around there. Yeah, these are looking a lot nicer. I was working on a new strategy for, um... That's supposedly gonna make it a lot easier to not bonk. It was that right there. Go f slightly further in, and then be running to the right. It can be annoying from time to time, but at least it's fun. Ah, okay. Well, either way. We got the nerves out as far as those go. Let's play again. Yep, there it goes. We're getting over it, music. Over and over. It's very soothing. E ease jammy jams. Royalty free music. Funky stuff. I actually learned how to play this whole piano solo, and if I had my keyboard pedal, I might play it, but no. My keyboard pedal is at my girlfriend's house right now. So. Unfortunate. I still have a, like a clavinet downstairs, though. Yo, who's that again? Denny's. Good color choice. It's funny. The only way to have two different colors is by just turning off your custom color or asking me to take yours out of the game. Oh, whoops. I sound dead, it's because I am. This takes a lot out of you. Pressing the same five buttons for hours. It hasn't been hours yet. It's maybe been 20 minutes. I wonder how many runs I've gotten going. Uh, that it. I mean, I guess it wouldn't have been an EV run. My impression of the getting over it guy is like, whoop, whoop, <laughs> damn. And the thing that they build across rivers. Yeah, I caught myself. It's rather mind numbing. I'm gonna put on pumped music in a second. When I when I get to thinking about it. Next time I get past the first seven inputs of the run. Some pumped music. This is, this is the very reason that I say don't do this. Don't do this strategy. When you're starting out. Unless you're really pushing the very last... Very last crevasse of speed that you need. Oh, there we go. I don't know if that was faster for that situation, but I went for it, so here we are. Yes. Oh, no! You gotta be kidding me. It's still 23. Okay, well. <laughs> okay, it wasn't meant to be. It was not meant to be. I gotta get that muscle memory. It's been so long since I've gotten a good run all the way through, like on all the cycles, so I've almost forgotten what the good cycles look like. Like this will not, yeah, this isn't gonna line up, so I'm gonna practice the way it normally looks on the cycle that I run. 
might have been high jumpable. We... Okay, who cares? It isn't meant to be fast, it's just meant to be doing it. I'm pretty sure I'm on the fastest route, like the fastest cycle within the fast, like first five or so. Because after that, then it's not worth doing. When it takes this long to reset, every single time, it's just not worth it. You're gonna, you're gonna lose more hours of your life than it's worth. I feel like this is a good cycle. It's fun to run, the very first one. It just so happens to line up that way. I'm, I'm glad it does too. There are other, like, if you wait for it to go up and then go, you can technically still hit the... And it might actually be an easier elevator st or start of run skip to do, but the spinner cycles don't line up as well. And it takes slightly longer. And that would make me go insane when it already takes this long between resets. Yep. It's funny how consistent you can be at that jump up to the spinner, and then it doesn't matter. Because whether God wants you to or not is all that matters. The all-seeing eye. For all I know, it's Cthulhu. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Anything to soothe the pain. Any small act of kind- whoops. Yep. Nope. Nope. I thought that one might have been. I'm always ready on it. Always ready on the reset. I feel like that's part of the mental fortitude of this route. You have to be willing to reset. That one would have been it. Nope. Not a... I'll be on Poco Espanol. It's bueno. Pero puedo. <laughs> this is like my 30th run since the last attempt at this trick. Can you shall receive, I suppose. Okay. Nah, it wasn't. Damn. Damn. Whatever. Back to here we are. That slope is the worst. Sucks so much. You finally get a run past this nightmare, and then the slope just ends your run for RNG, I guess. I've I've made like five uh, five or so tasses that had to get past slope with sliding. Every single one of them worked differently. I had the exact same. And I don't understand the slope. I've looked in the code. I thought maybe there's some reason it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't seem to ever work in the task build, which makes me think there must be some frame rate related reason why it works or doesn't work. No idea. It even seems to work better on my laptop, which is cringe because my laptop doesn't work great. <sighs> okay, I'll just finish this one out. See? Got slope speed. Couldn't use it though, because I'm an idiot. Whatever. 57.8. Set a record for him. Hang on her. I won't assume. Let's be real though. I feel like most of the people who are playing this game are probably dudes. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. It's just dudes are the only ones that can be willing to waste this much time on something so meaningless. <laughs> ah, said by a real dude. Or at least the top runners. Because that's really... I mean, speedrunning is a measure of how much time you've thrown at something more so than anything else. Oh, hey! 
here we go. Disappointment city. Alright, what's the slope gonna do today? I missed it. I missed it. We won't know what the slope would have- well, uh, okay. Now we get to know what the slope said, which is fun in its own right. I will almost die there. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Always play on, because then when you lose to something else you can at least be satisfied by the fact that you didn't lose to something legit, you lost to something else dumb. That could happen to anybody. Alright. Run it back. Once, whoops, once again. all of a sudden went to Ben 10. I guess just repressed childhood memories. I I had the Ben 10 Alien Force Wii game. Ben 10 Alien Force being the teenage version of Ben 10. Supposed to be really cool. I remember it being really cool when I was not a teenager. All of my interactions with Ben 10 have been not as a teenager, which is funny because that's like the target demographic I feel. Um, I was too young when it was airing, and then when a friend of mine got into it, I was no longer a teenager. I mean, I guess I'm a teenager now, but only barely. Ah. Alright, next run. I'm calling it here. Next run's gonna either be the one or I'm gonna lose. Alright, next run. Whoops. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, lose. Before the very first jump. Alright, this one. Oh, okay, that's a good sign. This one could make the spinner cycle if the slope is kind to me. I'm not even gonna risk it. That saves not enough time to be worth wasting entire runs on. Yeah, see, I made the spinner cycle anyways. Nope! Okay. No! Uh, I knew it was over the moment I did that. Ugh. That could have been it. Could have just been everything done right then and there. Instead, we have a 42 off that platform. Not half bad. I mean, it's. I mean, they're never bad. It just always hurts so much to lose. <sighs> I'm still gonna show the splits so I can see them for later in case I want them. I don't know why I pressed the R button. I mean, the R button does nothing. It all, it's all done by Q. Q is the key that I change to a mouse button when I play this. Which is funny. Because anytime I start typing... Oh, whoops. Uh, this is not going to be enough speed. Yeah. Uh, still a chance if I get a perfect slope speed. All that matters is you make the cycle, and right now I'm not making many cycles. There's like three or four people on right now though. They're all in like... I'm up late where I am, so they're probably not in my time zone. I mean, a lot of the people who run this are not in my time zone. Which is why it looks glitchy with the cloud variables and everything. Because the project is designed for a certain, like, receiving rate of information, and when players come in from distant lands, it messes with that. It's why in Turbo Warp, generally things look fine. 
Like if you, because Turbo Warp's cloud variables run on a slightly faster server, I think. I could be wrong. I'm not really a tech nerd. I mean, I am. I'm on Scratch, whatever. <laughs> And it's about a, as much of a tech nerd as you can possibly be without. Whoops. I knew immediately. I feel like the most tech nerdy thing about me is that I used to want to be a filmmaker. And anytime like an indie filmmaker releases something that gets big, I like kind of cheer. I'm like, Here you go, man. You don't need Hollywood. And then they get signed on to Hollywood like a year later. And I'm like, you're gonna end up on the bottom list of the credits in like two years. And you're only gonna be remembered for your indie films. Which is totally fine. Indie films are like a, a gateway drug to the uh, industry as a whole. Like, both for editing, shooting, filming, like, directing, writing. And if you take them to like a film festival, you have more chance of being noticed by the industry. But if they go viral, you're less likely, and people will be less likely to take you seriously. Are you? Oh, well, wherever they are, they are gone, according to... Oh, huh. that's interesting. Let's go! Echo Kids gave me power. Think oh no, I lost my power. Echo Kids, what did you do? Ooh, this is gonna be... Ooh. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> My hubris. <laughs> I'm perfectly synced with the uh, spinner itself. It's really hard to adjust, like, after getting really good sp speed off the... Um, it's really hard to adjust. Well, I'm not in a focus mode. Even though I don't want to be a filmmaker anymore, I still find myself veering back that direction. Like, maybe I don't want to be a filmmaker, but like, maybe if I could just work on one short film with someone, you know, that'd be fun. So I, I still watch videos on, on like writing and directing. There's a lot of good stuff on YouTube. A lot of uh, a lot of fun channels and videos, entirely dedic entirely dedicated to it. They do very good work. It's very fun. This one's gonna be it. You ready? Next one's gonna be it. Just you watch. They didn't believe me. They didn't believe me. Whoops. Okay, I guess I shouldn't have believed me either. It's weird though. I just have to really focus and I can get it. I should stop throwing myself at it and instead like thinking about what I did wrong, if that makes sense. Like I'm pretty sure what I did wrong there was I jumped too late out of the crouch. Right there was a good time, but I missed the timing on the high jump. Ah, that time I started too early. The more you do strategies like this, the more it becomes like obvious to you when you've done something wrong or why. Like when you start out, you're just like, this is completely random. There's really no reason for it to do either way. Just wish that slow speed the speed you get from the slope halfway through the game was one of those things that started making sense over time. The more you do things though, like the more like pattern recognition kicks in and you're like, oh, this worked and this didn't. 
if you do the stuff that worked and you don't do the stuff that didn't. So we make routes and things to do for different cycles. And they work sometimes. But at the end of the day, we really have no idea what's going on. I mean, think Griff Patch could tell us why it does or doesn't work sometimes. Because it's our speed game. Just because he made it doesn't mean he understands all of it. That was a weird start. I don't like this at all. Yeah, I shouldn't have liked that at all. That was such an odd way of doing that. I deserve to not be here. This uh, speed game belongs to someone else. Einsteiner, I'm talking to you. Take, take this category from me. I do not deserve it after that display of brilliance and geniusery. <sighs> Imagine it was him. Yes, the Psycho Kids. Cool. I need to be going more for that. I feel like Crouchless, you go to the left. Or no, you go to the... I can't remember. I don't, I don't do enough Crouchless. One of the categories. Fun story, when I was making the custom colors, uh, which, in case anyone's watching that wants one, just ask. Hex code. Um, there's this annoying bug, or not really a bug, but I guess a feature, where without having two costumes, I can't do true hex, like hex colors. So when people send me hex colors for what they want, I have to just fully saturate or fully lighten it. Because I can only do saturation 100 colors. I, I can change the hue, and I can change the lightness, because realistically I'm just converting the, the hexadecimal color code to HSL, or like HSV, and then plugging that into the lightness and hue, I, I just convert the color uh, like effect that Scratch uses to... Or I convert hue values into the color by just offsetting where we get to red, which is where hue 0 is, and then multiplying by 255. So like converting it essentially. But in doing that, I only get... Um, I am only allowed to change either the brightness, so the lightness, or the hue. Or and the hue, I should say. So I can only have saturation 100 colors. I can't... Um, or I guess I can only have... yeah. I guess it's saturation. As far as HSV goes, the saturation can only be 100. Which is sad. Because it means I have to kind of estimate and pray that it works out. If you're making a custom color and you're listening to this, I recommend you um, only give me colors on the top of the box. Like if you're using the Google Hex color picker, colors on the top or right side of the box are ones I can do. Other than that, I have to convert it. If I had a secondary... Oop, there we go. Please be enough. Okay, it wasn't, but... <sighs> Dang it. <laughs> that sucks so much. Yeah, if it's like a secondary... I, if I had two costumes or two clones per each character, but I don't. Scratch only lets you have a hundred. And I mean, I guess on this project you never see that many, but it's it would still be ridiculous to dedicate an entire clone to this, unless it was an effect you were specifically going for to be able to do like an HSV color picker. Either that or I do it in pen, but that requires recreating the entire project. Like, yeah. To create saturation differences, I would have to have an overlay, so a second like uh, clone that is the exact same position and costume, but just changes the... Um, it basically just overlays, and with certain levels of ghost, would affect the brightness based on your saturation. So if you wanted like a mid color or like a pastel-y color, but you don't want it to be full saturation, it would be able to do that. And unfortunately, there's no good way for me to implement that without rebuilding the 
clone scripts, and it's too complicated in spaghetti for me to figure that out, I think. I'm just not good enough. It's a skill issue, honestly. Sadness. I'm not even- yeah, okay, well. Who are you? I mean, it's sadness, but I'm still gonna get, like, a sub one, probably, if I don't mess anything else big up. Oh, no, actually. This might not be. That was... Mm. I think that's Denny's. It's gonna get a good time here. Always stairs. Always stairs, I leave. Oh! Yes. Is that it? Let's go. <laughs> I was right! <laughs> I hope he didn't quit over that. Oh, that's funny. This game is fun. It's funny, I only just recently learned how to write code that isn't super finicky. Like when you press the green flag to reset. Which is why a lot of the effects in this... I, I did that specifically, I learned how specifically for this project. Because the... Like, focus mode... Uh, stuff like that. The muting of the project audio, which right now it's muted, and that's so I can be playing nice, calming, getting over it music while doing this. Yes! Okay, that was actually really good speed. Might be too much. Uh, it was. It was way too much. Dang. Sometimes I wish. I mean, there is. If I had, like, said that earlier, I would have been able to- Oh my gosh, I did not realize I was gonna get 10 speed from that. <laughs> yeah. For those of you that don't know how the long jump works, if you're anywhere from 1.5 to, um, 8.99999 speed, when you long jump, it'll round you up to 7 or down to 7. And if you're anywhere from 9 onwards, it'll round you up or down to 10. So in certain situations like there, you're going for, like, I do this long jump here to get 10 speed immediately. Like, right as I hit 9 speed there, I hit... Oh, there we go. Uh, this might not be enough. Dang. Well, premature celebration, I suppose. But yeah, you hit the 9 speed grind. I feel like that's possible. Maybe not. Oh uh, yeah, as I was saying, you hit the 9 speed, and then turn it straight to 10 speed, which uh, in the TAS is useful in the moving platforms because it's possible to get 10 speed off of them. The problem is the TAS has a really hard time getting like 14, like, or upwards of 10-ish speed off of the slope, which is really important for the later strategies. Nah, okay. Which, like including that, which sucks a lot, and there's nothing I can do about it. It's entirely up to RNG or some random... Ah, whatever. I, I'm gonna maybe go through this and count how many runs were ended by stupid things like that, so the slope just not giving me the right speed. How many runs were ended on elevator skips, because even after I'm so confident like I was earlier, I still miss them quite a bit, because they're elevator skips. They're designed to be annoying and tight inputs that you have to do multiple times in a row in a stressful situation of a good run in order to succeed. Yes, yeah, this, this, uh... I thought I was really cool when I made that task and revealed that this was 4, like, somewhere between 0.4 and 0.7, depending on how much speed you get and how well you keep it. Somewhere from 0.4 to 0.7 speed faster, this task track. I thought I was cool. I thought it was cool. I thought it was a neat strategy. I thought this would be 
revolutionary and make the game a lot more interesting to run because oh. yeah but I thought oh wow this is gonna make the the this is gonna improve time by so much uh, give me such a window of opportunity to improve the time and in reality it did this which is what I was kind of afraid of I would almost prefer a trick like this be at the end of the run, because then I at least get to practice everything. Instead of just sitting here like a madman. In fact, I'm gonna go and practice everything. Just gonna do it run the old fashioned way. Because I still remember that. All of it. Well, okay. I still remember all these strats at the back of my hands. Um, levels of memorization. No! Oh, I made it barely. Oh, okay, I'm keeping. I'll just look at the time after the fact. Ah, uh, 30.9 ish. So it would have been. Not fantastic, but it's still a fun run. And one I wish I had kept. Oh my gosh, I thought I missed that. <laughs> I zoned out. Yeah, the problem is when you mess up cycles like that. Ooh, my gosh. Unfortunate. I've proven to myself that I can do it still. I'm so surprised that I got, like, the 23-ish elevator cycle. If not very high, 25... 22... Come on. You know what? No. I'm no longer going for the fast slope speed strat, because I think it's useless. I can make it to this spinner cycle in time with just this. That's how confident I am here. This strat alone is powerful enough to get me there. I don't need fast slope speed. Maybe I will. If it looks like it's gonna be good, immediately back out of my confidence. Alright, best reaction time of my life. Yep. It was good. Alright, so I have the spinner cycle. By a solid margin. I'm going for it. <laughs> I'm not- I'm backing out because I want to keep this run alive. Dang. No! Are you kidding me? Ugh, why did I go for that? <sighs> so many things wrong with that. Like one, I was so far ahead of the slope cycle, whatever, who cares. Uh, I messed up, I should have gone for four elevator skips instead of three. Because I, I had a whole other cycle I could have potentially saved. It wouldn't have been a full elevator skip, but it would have been like 0 0.5, 0 0.6 of one. Would have saved a whole second. That would have been probably my fastest elevator exit if I had gone for it. Alright, you know what? Because I'm still reeling and mad from the last one, I'm going to do it this time. This is the record. Right here. I've never eaten my words harder in my life. I got no slope speed. The slope just denied me. I'm gonna try. Next time I next time I get the speed off of this, I'm not going for the slope strat. I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way and like it, because I cannot stand that stupid slope. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way. Next time I get an opportunity, of course, which could always just be never. Like the game could just never let me through this again. You should have seen me earlier. I was I was getting this like every other run. It was great. Where'd that time go? Alright, well I have to now. That's not gonna work. Oh, it did. I still... Alright, I made it. What of it? Okay, screw you. Nobody likes this game anyways. Uh, it's a lie. If it was more consistent, maybe people would like it more, and play it more. Uh, 
almost an hour now. Yeah, let's check the time. Alright, but I learned my lesson now. Go slightly earlier, jump slightly later. That's a, pa that's a pattern that seems to be working. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's fine. It's alright. No, stupid. <laughs> that's it. Just going for regular slope speed. Let's go. Look at how great this is going to be. I'm going to get up there with the spin- <sighs> Didn't high jump. It did not high jump. It's sadness. Sadness fills every fiber of my being when that happens. Because, like, it's hard enough when there's this many difficult strats been implemented into the run. But when it becomes, like, that, and then you mess up something that should be pretty easy, you're just like, dang, dude. It's like, I can't remember the last time I messed up, for instance, the high jump before the wall jumps at the very start of the game. Now that I've said that, Karmic Retribution, I will inevitably hit them. Hit the hit bonk my head on that now, but I don't believe in Karmic Retribution. I'll be fine. Nobody cares. There we go. I don't know if it's enough speed, but at least I got it. There we go. I had to jump early there, wow. I'm really ahead. I didn't have to. I could have just done it the normal way. Hey, I'm still... <sighs> I'm so upset. That I'm fine. Look at that. Four elevator skips, not even a problem. Literally the second easiest thing I've ever done in my life besides taking the Mars Sunset record from Einsteiner. Take that. Still gonna be like a 57 if I get this. Yeah, okay, 57. Oh, well, a 58.9. Like okay, it would have been if I had gotten the spinner. Who said this wasn't easy? This is the easiest thing I've ever done. It's just very repetitive. See? Brilliantly easy. Why did it normal jump? I was holding crouch. Nobody cares. Hmm. I hope everyone here is having- Ooh! That's a lot of speed. It's late release, so I don't- <laughs> Why did I- I shouldn't have. Said I wasn't ever gonna bonk. That is the definition of karmic retribution. It's like a longer, funnier way of saying karma. I picked it up from a Jax Badizi video. There we go. I don't know what I was thinking doing that. Just a bad play altogether. Had a feeling. I'm actually buying a guitar tomorrow. As far as I'm- Oh my gosh, that's a lot of speed. Came out of nowhere. I'd speed before I even left the ramp. Definitely not going for slope cycle on that one. Jeez, no. Do I want to lose my sanity? I would rather die. And it looks like I'm about to? No, okay. I will take that. I will take that any day of the week. Never mind. I would have taken it. If I had gotten the spinner, I would have taken it. I almost feel like I could be going for the second cycle. Because sometimes I get to the spinner and I'm like way ahead. 
because something about this strat just breeds crazy speed. I'm also a lot more consistent than I used to be, which is weird saying that I've literally spent the past two hour, uh, well, two hours but one hour on here. So I spent the last hour doing nothing but, well, I just speaking of my consistency, I guess. I'm still not going for slope speed. Yes, I am. I had to. Give me credit, I had to. Dumb way to lose. <laughs> what the heck? Three in a row. Once again, I will take what I can get. Alright, this is gonna actually be pretty good. No, okay. It would have been fine. It would have been fine. Why? 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 Why did this slope speed not work there? This game. I know I went early, but I have to for it to be worth it. Or else you have to slow down. Fine. I'll take my baby slope speed. Whatever. At least I got a sick exit there. Did you see that? Sick exit. Whatever. Who cares? I don't care. Games are babies. Like myself. Alright, now I'm now I'm a believer in memes, but I'm not hitting a fourth one in a row. Yeah. No way. It would have been funny, but no. Three in a row is good enough for me. Yeah. I'm gonna have to remember like the timestamp that happened, because it was funny. I guess whenever I went yab 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 on the replay. Is probably when it happened. Alright, let's go. Why? I literally did everything the exact same that I always do. Why did that time it pan out differently? I'm so confused. So unbelievably confused. Well, oh, okay. Why? Why literally crouch jumped? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm actively not mad. This game brings out the, the best in me, as a person. <sighs> Not mad, though. Why would I be mad? Nothing to be mad about, baby game. <laughs> I used to do that when I would play Dark Souls with my friends. I guess I still do, but we don't play Dark Souls that much anymore. He's on the Elden Ring, and I don't have a computer that's good enough for Elden Ring. Hey, at least I'm hitting the strat more. I think I've found a slightly more consistent feeling setup for it. I don't know. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Alright, I was about to stop, but then I started hitting that a lot more, and then I'm like, well, maybe I can continue for a bit. Let's go! I immediately saw the speed, and I was like, I'm going for it. Alright, let's go. No! Stop doing that! It's just not giving me slope speed. Do I really even care? I'm getting the task cycle. The task start. Do I care about the tiny amount of slope speed that I'm going to get from that? No, I don't. Who cares? No, I, I was like a frame late. Come on. I'd, I'd speed every other frame of that, of that. And then the one that I didn't, I jumped. Come on! <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Come on, dude. Look at this elevator. If I had gotten that on a good run, even if I was like doing the old start, like before Task Start was discovered, it still would have been a great run. Just on that alone. Four elevator skips, no hesitation. It's just the meta is improving, but I haven't been around to run enough. I finally got like a night that I could just sit, you know, take a break run some MMO, 
whatever. If I ever finish a run that's gonna be like a 102 and you're thinking like, why is he even playing this one? It's obviously not gonna pan out. It's because I'm an idiot and I like doing it. Also because I had a lot of experience with getting over it speedrunning, which like for the first 200 or so runs, you don't ever reset the speedrun. Because uh, it gives you at least 200 runs worth of practice for the entire game. And then you, like, don't feel as bad when you- I knew it! I wanted to high jump. WHY?! I literally saw that I had speed! I'd say, I'm doing this until I get that stupid speed. Give it to me. WHY?! I literally had it there! What is going on? What is actually going on? <laughs> Alright, fine. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I've never been mad. <laughs> Alright. Okay. That. If that happened in a run, I'd be like, oh great, cool. Three elevator skips and then perfect cycles and then blah 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 and then I'd get my spinner cycle perfectly. Normal jump, like a perfect, perfect crouch clump, the glitch, perfect long jumps. Watch this, it's gonna be the perfect cycle on the spinners here. Oh yeah, right there, perfect spinner cycle. Watch this, I'm gonna get the best speed I've ever gotten. No, okay, it wasn't. It would've been funny though. Funny for the memes. for the homies. <laughs> Losing my mind. <laughs> uh, it's the Rage Game song, I think. I never played Getting Over It as a Rage Game. It was always, like, calming. But I know that other people rage, and so I kind of imprint it on myself. Uh, there's no way. There's actually no way that I make the cycle, but I'm just gonna do this run because why not? No, okay, there's no way. But I got a 23. I'm gonna keep running. It's so much funnier when you just don't- Okay, okay. Calm, calm down, buddy. You're getting ahead of yourself. Lord Hubris in the flesh. Oh, come on. That might have been cool. I'm pretty sure it's just optimal to not do that, though. One of these days I'm gonna get it in a run, and I'm gonna feel really cool about it. And it's gonna end up, like, having lost me 0.3 seconds or something. And they'd be like, but wasn't it cool? I'm talking about that crouch glitch off the, uh, before the way down the elevator. And it does. It looks so cool. It looks fly. If you land right on the elevator platform like that, uh, which I almost did. I've done that several times now. I need to be focusing right then. I need to focus on that and jump off the spinner. You have time. You're going fast enough off the platforms that you have time to not lose your 10 speed jump. That might have been too late of a start. Yeah. It's funny how you can just know sometimes. I'm gonna give myself one attempt. Uh, maybe more than one. <laughs> just for the. Wouldn't it be funny if that was faster? Einstein here would take uh, any percent too if that was faster. He'd probably be like, yeah, I got it. First day of running. I'm like, okay. Yeah, that's cool. I wish I were as cool as you. I feel like Crouchless is, uh, in every way except this one trick, much more difficult. So much props for him pushing the record down. Very cool. Uh, I am much scared of it though. Much fear. Come on. Alright, I'm not going for slope speed. Good thing I didn't. Just the actual god tier gambler right here. Don't be a god tier gambler. Ice break. Maybe. <laughs> All right, I'm still on the platform. Who cares? Who cares? World record pace. Who cares? All right. It would have been. Hey, yo. Come on. Oh, wow. Oh, I was not ready for that. That looks so much like it was going to head for the second platform. 
I was not prepared mentally. I wasn't going for it either way. I was just gonna take my normal tier run and go with it, please. Okay. No! I stopped holding right! Why would you ever? I thought I was gonna be better. But I got all the speed off of this first spinner and I like immediately lost it all because of that. I should have just done that. Held right, you would have been under the cycle. Whatever. It really is not that important. In the grand scheme of things, I probably would have lost on stairs and been mad about that, so... At least I lost earlier on. Speaking of, I'm gonna practice stairs. There's one run. Like the normal route to practice stairs. Like there, I know I'm gonna get slope speed, but the, the task slope strat is so inconsistent that I'd never know. Dang it! I didn't jump. I must have like pressed jump the moment that I touched the, uh, like clipped the corner of that little geometry piece on the floor. I would honestly rather get speed there than have to play that normally. I'm pretty sure slowing down is always slower, but I would literally rather slow down there and get the speed. Just for peace of mind that the rest of the run cycles are going to pan out. Because if you get that cycle, it's fine. I have to go for slow speed. Wee. Nope, okay. It was, it was worth a shot. Oh, I thought that was going to work. I haven't, like, really been consciously changing my timing of starting the slope. Maybe I should be doing that. No. Probably not. There's better things to be worrying about as far as, like, making the run. I don't think that's enough speed. It was. I was reverse psychology in the game. In action. Alright, I'm going to be really ahead here, so I can take a breather, as long as I make it over that, yeah, I'm ahead. No, stop! <laughs> Please! And I didn't, okay, I, I wouldn't have even made it. I was a little ambitious, because I knew I had to. Had to be. Oh my gosh. <sighs> when you get caught up on something like that, you're just like, come on. I pulled off the sickest strats in the game up to this point, and then I <laughs> lose to that. It happens to everyone. I am proof. I think I am a everyone. I think I this game I count as everyone. Please? Okay, I, I knew it was gonna be enough. Please! Okay. Alright, this is a good run. I'd rather not- Why did I not go for the last one? I'm such an idiot. Only ever not go for the last one if you're ahead by a cycle and you know you're gonna not make it. But that one I should've. I should've totally gone for that one. That elevator skip would have been sick. It would have been like, once again, just like the first one I got earlier, when I was really mad about that. It would have been really cool. I feel like it's helping. Like, recording and stuff. I'm not nearly as mad. I don't think anyone's gonna watch this at all. <laughs> If any- here, you know what? If anyone can hear me saying this right now, then I'll know you've watched this far. And type, like, some weird thing in the comment. I don't know. Well, I, I guess... YouTube comments. There's gonna be weird stuff or anything. If you're listening to the sound of my voice right now, if you type the number... Uh, well, actually, type the first ten digits of pi. Um, if you can find that on the internet. Type the first 10 digits of pi. If you do that, then I know. Everyone else after the first guy does it, type the next 10. 
So if there's already somebody who put the first 10 digits of pi down there, put the next 20, or next 10. And then I'll know. Then I'll know your true fans. Watching through that much. I don't expect this to be very enjoyable, and it's not really made to be. It's just a proof of just my life is miserable. <laughs> this strat is <laughs> annoying. Uh, but I'm going for it, because no one else... Well, I guess Deplix is going for it, and he just got second place, so... Well, is Deplix? I, I'm not re-downloading their proof file to see. I didn't see their beginning, unfortunately. But just based on, like, the timing of the rest of the run, I was, like... I, I could have sworn they were. You know? I just had, like, a brain freakout moment. I thought I had accidentally pressed the stop recording button a while ago. Nope. I'm still here. Not nervous at all. Every single time that happens, my brain just shuts down. I'm just like, this is easy. Been here a thousand times before. What about you guys? Ever been here before? On the potentially world record run heading into spinner cycle? Gets the spinner cycle and messes up the crouches. Yep. No one else in the world will probably be there because other people are better than me. At basic things. That's the second time I've messed up there, though, so I should probably go practice it. Because I'd rather not waste any more of these precious, precious task starts to, to that strat. Oh, whoops. Okay, well. Eh, that's fine. I can still make it. I can make it work. Yeah. That's what I thought. No, what? <laughs> I clicked. I mean, it's, that would have been really good, like, a while ago when I thought that was the best. Alright, so I'm in here, yeah, I'm in there, and then that's it, and then just elevator skips your way to the end. WHY?! Why am I not going for the fourth one? Always go for four. Regardless of what happens, dude. What's wrong with me? Alright, come on. One. Alright, let's recreate the situation, area. I'm here. One. Okay, well, that's not the situation, area. One, two, three, four. And now I'm on world record pace, and now everything is cool, and I hit all the cycles because I'm cool. And everybody thinks I'm... <laughs> uh, the amount of times. The amount of times I'm gonna hit that cycle. Oh, okay, finally. I don't know, I still get excited. I've probably done it like 50 times now just in the past hour, and I still get excited for it. I still be like, ooh, every time. Nothing will top the excitement I felt after hitting it those three times. That was so fun. <laughs> that was how I felt the, the first time I ever did a th uh, three crouchless elevator skip run. I got three crouchless elevator skips, and it was funny. I was like, dang. Actually, you know what? I'm going to test you guys even further. If you saw me say the to add 10 more digits of pi, don't do that, because it's the obvious thing for people to do if they see somebody typing digits of pi, is to keep it going. So what I want you to do is type the word pi, but not the mathematical term, P-I-E, but it has to be your favorite kind of pi and why you like that kind of pi, if you happen to be replying to the first guy who typed out pi. I guess I should go first. Uh, I don't know the first 10 digits of pi, which is sad because I can sit, I like math a lot. I took a calc 1 last semester. That was fun. I'm sad I didn't get to take calc 2 because it wasn't in my major, but it was very fun. Calc 1 was. My teacher was fun. Uh, she is uh, from China, I believe. Yeah, yeah, and I, I had to think about it for a second, uh, and had a thick accent, but very kind lady, very kind, older lady, very kind. Be surprised how many of our math professors came from out of the country, which I guess makes sense because that is pushed more overseas than it is uh, domestically. So like if you need a math professor for like an earlier math, it makes sense why you'd have to go overseas to find something like somebody who's 
uniquely gifted and talented for that specific education level of math. I don't know, I couldn't teach math for a living. Math is so frustrating <laughs> for just everyone that I feel like everyone would hate my class. I thought about teaching ESL though. Oh wait, where was I? Something about math. Oh yeah, my favorite kind of pie. I like a... Uh... I don't know man, I'm not a big pie guy. I'm not a really big cake guy either. I like cookie cake. There's a specific kind of cookie cake that um, Sam's Club has. I don't know where all in the world Sam's Clubs are, but if you know of Sam's Club, they have like a double layered cookie cake that even now, as an almost adult, I still get excited for. Nothing's better than like getting your favorite birthday dessert on your birthday because you're just like, this is the best. This is good. This is a good time. I will never not be, because I know like adults get grouchy and are like, oh, I don't want people to know it's my birthday. I don't want to be old. I will never not be excited when I see the cookie cake on my birthday. That is like the highlight of my year. The two highlights of my year are cookie cake and when it ends. <laughs> when the year ends is, is the second highlight. <laughs> I can't even remember. I've been completely zoned out of MMO the past like 10 minutes. A lot of people have asked if my, um, where are you? Yeah. A lot of people have asked what um, the face in my profile picture, the avatar is. Uh, it's mine. I took that picture. It's a funny story. I used to take a lot of pictures like that because I have a trimmer in my right hand and that's like my hand I do everything with. I'm not really that ambidextrous. But yeah, I do almost everything with my right hand, but I got a trimmer in it. So um, when I took pictures, like selfies, it always comes out blurry, even now. With like crazy camera stabilization and everything, it always comes out blurry. So I used to just like, back when it was really bad, it's kind of calmed down in recent years, but back when it was really bad I would take funny pictures because I was like, look how funny it is, my hand shakes and it makes it blurry, and I was like, ha ha ha, and everyone was like, dude, are you fine? <laughs> okay. I was okay. I was fine. I just thought it was funny. If you can't laugh about your shortcomings, then you're not cool. I missed a cycle there. Uh, on the elevators. That was why that didn't line up. At least I'm pretty sure that was why. It's still gonna be like a 57. Yeah, almost. I think my best ever time with Task Start was a 57. I posted it to the leaderboard forum uh, with, with a screenshot of the splits. It was crazy. I thought I was, that was the first ever run I had finished with the Task Splits. Or no, I had a 57.1. That was my first ever task split finished room. Very difficult stuff. Oh, hey. Get back at me. Yeah, the trick is really hard. Because if you're someone who suffers from nerves, I am. Uh, the nerves are amplified about 20 times when you know this is the first chance you've gotten to get through the rest of the run in like maybe 20 minutes. Like that feeling of nervousness you get is just amplified times like a hundred. Okay, fine. I'll take my 30. I wasn't gonna make the next elevator skip anyways. I have the, uh, I have my voice and the music on separate channels, so I'm sure in post I could add anything else. For the for the run, when because it's not an if it's a when. When I get the run, I'm gonna put it in. Theoretically, this could be the run. There's nothing saying it can't be. Except that that was a bit shoddy. I don't know why I'm- I think I'm just doing the elevator skip slowly. I'm doing them safely and it's messing with my time. Okay. <sighs> I 
it's scary, man. You get on a good run, and then the elevator skips are all that's in your way, so you slow down for them. And, like, all that's in your way between potentially getting a sub-5. I'm gonna let it play out a cycle. Let's see if that makes this easier. Okay. Well, it didn't make it easier, but I did just happen to get it. Come on. Okay. Barely. No! I wanted the slope speed that time. One of the few times that I specifically wanted slope speed. Okay, I should have jumped a little later. Because I think I can get a faster spinner cycle if I do this in slope speed. And since I'm here, I might as well be going for both. I say at 5 in the morning, I call it quits. If I haven't gotten it in the next 30 minutes, I don't think I will. <laughs> Not tonight, at least. I'm still posting this, regardless. It's fun. That way people know that I'm still here. It's just by no means an easy task getting any faster than what I already have. You can play and play and play and play and play and then it just never happens and then the one run you get it happens and you're like, what? I was not expecting this. That's how the 56 felt. When I got the 56 it was like, I was not expecting this at all. Oh, that would have been great. Fine. It was a very weird feeling. I need to be just normal jumping now, I think. Normal jump to the long jump thing feels really good there. Ooh, that was smart. Okay. I didn't do the second cycle start, so I won't make it in, but it's still gonna be a good cycle, oh my gosh. Okay, well, it's still a sub 20. Please be enough. Please be. No! I was like one frame off if I hadn't bonked on the. Man. If I, if I had immediately gotten that long jump, I would have had the cycle, and then it would have been GG's. Improvement by, like, maybe 0.3. New record, at least. There's a lot more pressure under me, or on me, I guess, now. There's fire under me, now that second place has the sub-57. I kind of... It's not that I felt safe, I just needed a break. But now there's a reason to not be breaking. Well, I am breaking, just instead of taking a break, it's breaking records. Let's go. I mean, not with this gameplay, but... With this attitude, yes. The sass. Alright. If this one's not it, I don't know what will be. Because this one feels smooth as heck. That's, why am I? Smooth as hell. We're all adults here. Except the ones of us that aren't. Alright, that was a bit sad. But it's recoverable. That's the thing. I have wiggle- I don't have any wiggle room. I'm on the previous cycle. There was no chance. Who, who is I like, kidding with the wiggle room thing? There is no- What's a wiggle room? Never heard of it. <laughs> oh hey, that's the wiggle room. You just do it again. If at first you fail, Succeed. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't even need the fast slope speed, so when it doesn't give it to me, like it never does, I can just vibe, knowing that I have so much time to kill, essentially. Yeah, yeah, you see that? That was sick. That was so cool. I did everything right, and then I missed one trick because of RNG, and that's what happened to me. So fun. Who doesn't love it? Just a little calming music and gameplay. All you want in your life. Okay. Cool, dude. <sighs> Whatever. I feel like there's a couple things that means I should get the record soon. I'm hitting elevator skips very consistently. Spinner cycles are like 0.4 seconds faster than they used to be just on the grounds that I'm getting 0.4 off the start of the run every chance I get. My shoulder's starting to hurt though. I don't know how much more out of this I can take tonight at least. Hell no, I'm not going for the speed. 
crazy? I'm on a good run, and the spinner cycle is possible without it. So no, this salad- I let go. I let go because I thought I had too much speed. I had, in fact, not enough speed at all. Let's go. Not quite back to back, but back to almost back. It's like you're standing in a crowd and you're like within arm's distance. This is bad. This is not. There, yeah, there's no way. Mm, yeah, there's no way. Okay. Good to know. Immediate reset, because we just know. N no sense wasting my time or your time when we already know that it's not going to pan out. My old friend. I want to talk with you again. Bruh. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That was just a mistake. I knew it. I, I saw it coming. You saw me held the button slowly. And I saw it coming, but I just. Oh, he's going crotchless. No, he's not going crotchless. Oh, let's look at that. Who is that? What is that shade? Is that still Astro? Probably. That was bad. It's gonna be sub 58. I knew it. Unless this cycle's bad. This cycle was the worst it could have been. Alright, it's gonna be sub 59. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be sub 50. Oh, okay, whatever. Not worth guess guesstimating the times that don't make it. Using all my brain power and resources I don't need. And I should be spending brain power finding the volume knob cap to my Epiphone Les Paul that I am trading in for a classical guitar tomorrow at Guitar Center. Alright, that's bad. That wasn't half bad. There's still a chance it cycles. Uh, okay, it still cycled, but very, very, very close to not. Please? It wasn't even that good. Ooh! Please! No. I'm still ahead, slightly. Spinner cycle's gonna be off, but I can try. Please. It wasn't off by that much. Still have a chance. I don't know how much of a record it's gonna be, but it's gonna be close. No, okay. Spinner cycle was off once again. That would have been a 57 ish. Just based on. I should have probably saved it. Like, gotten to the end so I could have seen the splits and compared, but oh well, it was useless. Yeah. Set, but I did because I didn't want to finish that one. It just felt cringe. I'm gonna wait two cycles. Gives me some time to think about my life choices that got me to this position. Maybe just one. It's so much harder to hit that without the timing you get from the beginning of the game, though. Which is why I was surprised the only other time I went for this cycle today, I hit it. Somehow. Yeah, because you don't have the um, muscle memory timing. You have to go off of the... Like, what you feel. It makes it really difficult.
Without music, the, the keystrokes that you hear when I'm playing are quite annoying. I remember this from the Strats guide. I found them annoying when I was editing it. I haven't ever watched it back because my voice is cringe, but... I think everyone's voice is cringe to themselves, but... Mine is especially cringe to me. Maybe. Okay. Sadness? Still gonna be fine though. There's no way I was wasting that opportunity. Please! It's gonna be so close. I shouldn't have held back. I was just scared. Please. No, what? That's such a stupid way to lose it. So stupid. So stupid. Look at this time. <sighs> That's so stupid. Man. It wasn't a sub-30 elevator exit, but it was a good spinner cycle, we got everything else. Man. Ah, it's heartbreaking. Such a stupid way to use it. I miss the crouch glitch. Okay. Can persevere. No use feeling bad about it, I guess. gonna be a mistake run. This, that one wouldn't have been sub sub 56, but it would have been a good a good PB that had the task beginning. But oh well. It might not have even PB'd. I don't think uh, the crouch glitch at the end saves a whole second. Well, I take that back. It saves a second over messing it up like I did. It doesn't save a second over um, doing it the old-fashioned way, which is not going down the way. Instead of and getting the slope over. And then I missed a stair, so it might have still been the record. It would have been sub 57 at least, so my first task start with sub 57. <sighs> so, like I said, heartbreak, but oh well. I rebuilt the game from scratch back when I... I mean, it's all built in scratch, of course, but I built it from scratch. And by from scratch, I mean I rebuilt the entire speed build mod. Uh, when 1.3 dropped, because I realized that when we were behind a generation, it wasn't authentic to the regular build. Uh, Griff patch didn't change any of the physics or anything for that build. It was just cloud variable stuff. But because they had worked on it and are a better coder than I am, I thought I would just take their scripts. And I killed two birds with one stone because now the uh, online stuff doesn't glitch out as much as it used to. Which I never really fully understood. I thought it worked fine. And whenever I would go in turbo warp, it seemed to work fine. I think it's just the grand distances between all of the people who play this game. Why did I do that? We suddenly refresh percent whatever. This one's gonna make it. This one's gonna make it. Hey, at least I haven't missed the uh, platform in a while. I think I adjusted my strat enough that that stopped happening. I ran out of icebreakers, which is ironic, but I do. I like icebreakers. Specifically the sours. They're a lot of fun. 
Wait, I didn't run out of them. I think I have some. I probably would have had the um, new world record about an hour ago if I had been running with the uh, old beginning. But it's not about getting the record, it's about getting sub-56. We already got the record. I don't really care about it that much. It's a nerd record and a nerd game. I just want to see improvement for the community. Just see, like, push what's possible. Because the task, by no means, has the perfect strats. It misses some cycles and does some things unoptimally. But it still gets a 54. And I think most of that time save is just better elevator skips. Like, really gets in the cycle about as fast as you possibly can. Well, I did not expect that one to make it. So I was not prepared to play it out. That'd be uh, fastest stuff. I remember when I made it, I thought I, I was going to be disappointed because it was only going to be like half a second faster. So it went as a 54.1, I think it was. I was really confused. I was like, there's no way. This little measly old task project? That much time save? I don't think so. That much time save isn't even possible in a category in a game as small as this one. Everyone knows that. Apparently nobody knew that, and we still don't know that. And I don't have any like improvements over the strats that I use now that would get me that much time save. So, uh, uh, so I kind of just have to hope and pray this. I don't know, hope, hope that one of these days one of us is going to find something. Because that's kind of how... Um, the task beginning was. When I found that, I was like, I was in a rut of like, I couldn't think of anything that could possibly make us go faster. And then I thought of like crouch glitching and how it builds speed. That's weird though. It only builds speed on a flat ground if you're facing to the right. It's the only uh, directionally specific uh, thing in the game. And it makes it really weird to route, um, the, uh, 1900446 or Miss Scratches. Me Scratches. Their stuff. It makes it really hard to route their levels because you'll think, oh, this would be the perfect place for a crouch glitch. And it's like, nope, that's to the left. Uh, you're gonna lose speed there. Dang, I didn't know. And then to the right, it's almost always faster, regardless of what you're doing. If you're going down to the right, a crouch glitch is always going to be quicker. And I've wondered if there are places in this game where that's the case, but it's weird because this game isn't really like that. The only place that's like that is the these stairs and a couple places like... I guess the slow from here, I thought for a while, but then I realized that moving platforms count as moving to the left. It might be possible to, uh... Oh wait! What the heck? Did I just... It'd be so precise, though. Can you actually? Hmm. Don't know. It's not worth figuring out in real time. It's probably a task thing. I'm sure if you had the speed from the... Uh... Then you're going backwards, that might actually save some time. Who knows? I sure don't. This is confusing. All of it's confusing. The game doesn't make sense. The strats don't make sense. The only thing that makes sense is pressing the green flag and resetting. Forever and ever and ever. I don't really have a... I think sub 56 I'll stop running any percent. I think I'll call it there. It'll be up for future runners to uh, push the game at that point. I've had my fun with this category, and to an extent this game. Sometimes I think it's like a little like 
unfair that I kept the record for this long. Because I did have such a head start on most of the community. But I guess speedrunning is just a measure of consistency, and the people who have played longer are just consistent. Alright, time for a refresh percent world record. I have to make sure I'm not in focus mode because if I, uh... Let's go. This is how confident I am. First refresh percent run that gets past the, uh, stairs. Our moving plats, I guess. It's gonna be a refresh, uh... Refresh world record. Once I get on the moving platforms, the elevators themselves, I'm gonna get it right now. Just a break from any percent for a second so I don't lose my marbles. A lot of the emotion has faded from my existence since I lost that one run. That would have been great. Oh, whoops. Okay, I thought I could salvage it. It's not going to be a world record, but at least I can get a refresh. Now, okay, you know what? It's done. Back to back to the grind. That's the thing. That's the thing that separates me and the rest. I'm on that grind set. Whoops. Everyone knows the Sigma grind set. And I'm the only one who was brave enough to do it. Except all the other people who have been brave enough to do it in the past, like, three months. Y'all are crazy with it. I had the help of, uh, a couple people that used to speedrun the test project who knew some glitches. Uh, one of them, BDJJ10 was supposed to, supposed to be the first sub- I thought I was the first sub one. Uh, I didn't realize that- I feel so bad I cannot remember their username now- had released a YouTube video displaying their first sub one almost a week before I posted mine. I guess the- oh, Dronwell. Yeah. If that's how you pronounce it, Dronwell. Ah, I don't lose a record, so I can't be too upset about. It. Yeah, Draw Noel is uh, crazy with it. If they had if they had kept pushing their time lower, like I went on to do, they would be far out of me right now. Just in the in the fact that they were able to nail those strategies without any like of what we know now. Because nowadays, if you're a decently skilled runner or have been playing for a while, there's a good chance you know how to do most of the strats required for sub-59. They're not too bad. I don't even think this is going to save time. I think I did the task beginning badly. Mm. Yeah, okay, fine. I get the 23. I'll practice the uh, rest of the run. I almost don't like the slope glitch leading to the flag, because while it is faster, it also is kind of sad when you don't hit it. Because you're just like, well, okay, what, what could I have done differently? Nothing. It just adds another bit of randomness in a category that really, really does not need randomness. The, the unrandom strats are hard enough as they are, as I presume this one to be on random. It's hard enough as it is, but I without the rest of it. Part of why I'm looping this song in specific, and I'm thinking about it because I let myself go quiet and that just overtook my thoughts, it's so pleasant. It's such a pleasantly written piece by a royalty-free musician. There's nothing wrong with royalty-free stuff. Kevin MacLeod. Uh, MacLeod? I don't actually know like Scottish name pronunciation. Yeah, them ease, ease Jamie Jams. It's on a lot of YouTube and, and Twitch stuff.
Sometimes it takes a while to get back into the rhythm of it. Because it is, it's a pattern, like a tempo, a rhythm, to get the strat to work. Not only consistently, but- No, are you kidding me? I mean, I still have it. No! I, I would have had it. That really is sucky. Missed the jump off the platform? Are you kidding? Or I, I didn't. I was too early. I haven't done that in so long. When it happens, though, it hurts. It's stuff like that that's like, this should not be a reason I'm losing a run. There are so many other RNG-dependent and really hard things, like elevator skips, cycles. Those are the things I should be losing these runs to. Not missing the elevator jumps. Now I mess up the route sometimes because I smooth made smooth brain and do a high jump instead of a regular jump or do whatever. But other than smooth brain like maneuverisms, I'm still like 90% certain on these things. Oh hey, there we go. I'm pretty sure I accidentally didn't reset correctly, but it's fine. At worst, I'm tying world record right now, and it looks cool as hell, and I lost it because I had a little slow speed. Uh, slow speed, you inconsistent son of a gun, you. Who are you? Cool. Unfortunately, I do not have time for such social interactions. I must continue on the grind set. there because I knew I was really far to the right and if I tried to do a jump it would have been slower. If you're ever going for the strat for any godforsaken reason, don't do what I just did. Just take take your <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna go into focus mode in real life for a second. Lights are off. Guitars in hand. Turn down my music for one moment, one moment and one moment only, just just for my guitar is out of tune, but it doesn't matter. I don't know. It's just. That's not half bad. Just a little. Just. focus mode has concluded. Time to return to, uh, return to game. Perfect timing, too. The music itself shut off. Some, I gotta ask myself sometimes, how much do I want this? How much do I want this record? Well, not the record, but how much do I want to get this? It's moments like that that test it. 
moments where I'm already down and it just kicks me in the teeth. <laughs> I've already lost the run, and then I miss three elevator skips in a row. But that's just how elevator skips work. You miss one, you miss three. It's a, it's a rhythm, and when you get off the rhythm, it just messes you up a lot. Unfortunate. I had to take the bad route. I'm not getting the elevator. I'm not getting the cycle. I did get the 23, though. Which, in my defense, is better than most. I used to think 23 cycle would be impossible. Like, when I started running, like before all these crazy fancy strats were just developed and discovered by Geotail and by me and by um, a couple other players. I was like... I guess it was like 729, one of the Japanese players. They really revolutionized the way we look at um, the first elevator. Uh, for a while I was doing it a pretty suboptimal way, and I was losing a lot of time to it. So when they finally showed me a, like a run of theirs, I realized that I had been doing the first elevator the wrong way, and immediately took the record back. Well, I mean, we had, I'd never lost it, it was a tied record, but I took it back with the 57.0? Um, that I had, I forget which one it was. One of the earlier records, I took it back, and that was around the time they stopped. I was a little suspicious of one of them, um, but I would never voice suspicions unless it caused like a rift in the community. For the most part, there's no harm in, in faking a run. If it makes you happy, then whatever. But when you're at the top of the leaderboard, like top 10, top 20 nowadays even, it's just not cool. You're just invalidating the, like, put together all of those players' countless hours that they have all put into the game in an attempt to practice and make it work and make the strats work. They've all practiced for hours, and if you cheat or you submit a time that's fake or faked, you're kind of just invalidating the time that they put in, the time and effort. And I don't mind. It's like, okay, I don't see why you'd want to go for it. Like, why you'd want to get a record if you didn't actually get it yourself. But I guess there is. It's a small community, but even within the small community, there's recognition and fame. I get it with that. It's not why I do it, but it is... It's fun to say the least, to know that I can answer people's questions. Oh, that was good. If I hadn't messed that part up. That was- oh my gosh, it's the fastest elevator skips I've ever done. Whatever. How did I not lose that much- wow. That's surprising how little time all of that noodling lost. In fact, I'm ahead of where I need to be to make the cycle. Wow. That's crazy. Imagine I get the record on a run where I noodled the start. Get me out of here, please! Uh, it's still a chance. I had a bad spinner. That'd be so funny, but it's not gonna happen. It's too, it, it's too far removed now. I would have to get like the perfect elevator or stairs and it's just not happening when I'm stressed. Stressed about the fact that I noodled at the beginning of the run. I had good elevator skips too, but I missed a... Uh, I th ugh, that really sad. In saddens me, I guess. I don't know. I don't know words. Words hard. We're coming up on two hours though. 150, it looks like. I can't tell on the... Uh, Recording software, but I can tell on the uh... <sighs> Ooh, that might be too little Yeah, I don't know if I'm making the spinner cycle this time around Certainly will try my best, but oh, oh, just barely That wasn't great, but I made it up Stop stop stop. Oh my god. Stop Act 
actively just stop. Ah, oh, the elevator skips are driving me crazy. Even at this level of play, they're still, man, a force to be reckoned with, that's for sure. the uh, normal jump off. I bet that it wasn't going to work out. I should have high jumped if I even wanted to try and salvage it, but it was too late. Too little too late, I guess. Funny reaction, though. I guess it is what it is. I don't think I'm the only person in the world that, that's qualified to, to do this, the run that I'm going for. Um, I know Duplix does the task start, um, and then every other player, or every other strat in the route is very humanly viable. I think Einsteiner does the task start now, too. I just don't... It's just unbelievable how difficult it is to get a run with it. It's one thing to get the task start. It's just a matter of pressing the buttons in the right order. It's another thing entirely to get a task start and play the entire rest of the run perfectly to get either a record or sub-56. There's just a lot that goes into it. Including cycles. That's one of the reasons that it's so hard. If there was an easier cycle than maybe, or if the, the easy cycle happened to line up with the, uh, then it'd be alright. But it doesn't. Oh my god, so annoying. It's not gonna make it, so like, why would I even continue at this point? <sighs> Should've just gone for the force. Skip. There's no point not to. There's... Probably gonna get quiet and loud many times throughout the filming of this little exemplary explanation. It's so funny though. You can take like so long and just decide. I guess two hours of runs isn't actually half bad in the grand scheme of things. I've had sessions where it's run for three. It's just when you're coming cold turkey from not playing any percent into this, when you have to relearn the I mean, it's all muscle memory, but you have to like reapply the muscle memory and then relearn the task beginning, get it consistent again. That was the first hour. And now that I have it, like, maybe every three or four runs, it's just a matter of getting it in a run that can get far enough to be record material. Oh, why did I jump so late? I do that so often and it bothers me sometimes. Sorry, correction, it bothers me most of the times. tasteful key change. The Getting Over It song is actually a cover of a jazz standard known as uh, Body and Soul. It's a very, 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 very pretty song, and I know how to play it. I actually, um, I used to take, like, jazz lessons and stuff, because I wanted to learn how to play jazz piano. Lo and behold, the teacher I was taking from only knew guitar. So I learned some jazz guitar, as was exemplified earlier on. 
It's weird to think that it could be any of these runs. Every single time I press the Q button, it could be that run. Although sometimes it feels like I'm just always going to be stuck in this, like, purgatorio state of just, like, there will never be a run good enough. I'm always going to feel like there's more I can do. Which is, like, I'm sure everybody who does, like, a, like a professional speed game or... What happened there? I felt like I was on, like, a completely different cycle. But I hadn't made any mistakes. Maybe I didn't get full speed from that. No, I had to have. Maybe it was a different, like, cycle entirely. Weird. I don't know. That, that all felt odd. I was paying attention. I mean, I did do the normal slope strat rather than doing quick slope, but... I don't actually know how much quick slope saves. Yeah, this is gonna probably be the same, like, timing, roughly. No, please, 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 oh my god. I'm practicing the later strats, I'm practicing the later strats, I'm getting through this run so I can practice the later strats. It's gonna be bad cycles, but I'm practicing the later strats, whether I like it or not. Frankly, I don't like it, but I'm doing it regardless. Stairs could have been busting if I had done the long uh, the high jump earlier. Back when I was going for a sub 57, I used to join lobbies and jump scare people by just getting like a 58 second time. This was back before I had released the strats guide, and the average player, even in the speedrunning build, had a like. Um, like 1 0. I was still going for. Yeah, only like 5 or so people had done the sub 5 or sub 1 so far. And I would go in the game and jump scare. That was how I got a lot of the people into the game that are, that are still in. Just doing that, sending them the stu studio invite after they were like, hey, oh, you're good at the game. And I'm like, sure, thank you. I play it a lot. That's all it is, really. It's no talent. I remember when I started, I sucked so much. Now it's all just muscle memory. All the strats and the game itself. I could have probably skipped out on the short hop there. Uh, yeah. This one's gonna do it too. Well, that one I couldn't have. I paid dearly for the mistakes that I made. There we go, that's probably gonna not make it. Yeah, it was a little too late. This one might be too late too. Oh. No, okay, that's fine. I'm sure when I say like too late, it doesn't probably make sense to anyone watching this like after the fact, but it makes perfect sense to me. In like my own brainy world of nothingness. Please. Thank you. You see, you ask and it shall receive. I'm going for it. Let's go. Potential record time. If I had not bonked there, it would have been record time. Unfortunately, I bonked there. So I lost about half a second. Still on good cycle pace though, if I got a good stairs. It's not impossible to say the least. It wasn't bad stairs, just bad ending. Yeah, bad ending. It would have been sub 57, but it was a bad ending. The spinner was slightly off because I was kind of coasting. I was just praying that my stairs were good enough to make the spinner cycle. If they had been, it might have been a record, but oh well. I'm not gonna be upset about it, at least. I probably should have at least like finished it out and saved it, though. At least I'm not mad. It just happens. It's unavoidable. It's gonna it's gonna happen from time to time. What's important is it would not have been a sub 56. And that's really what I'm going for here. Man, how upset would I be if I got a 56.0? <laughs> 
I mean, then I would know without a shadow of a doubt that sub-56 was possible, but it would be so upsetting. It would be so heartbreaking to get a 5.5 second time save when I needed the 0.6. I'm gonna go for the second cycle. I'm going for all optimal strats now. Because I know second cycle is possible. And I'm gonna do it. But I'm only gonna do this for the next 20 or so minutes. Because we just hit an hour. I don't know how enjoyable it is. I need to do like Q&A stuff when I do this. I release a bunch of questions and then I answer them while I'm playing. That way it cuts through the boringness of, of doing this over and over again. And then you watch for the excitement of, oh, does he get it now? No, of course not. Does he get it this time? Was that two cycles or one? I can't count. There you go. slightly off. I feel like something slightly changes when you go for the zero or the second cycle. Because okay, so I should explain. This is the first cycle for this strat when you wait for it to go down like that. That's the first cycle. First cycle for um task strat is that because you still technically are hitting the same spinner cycle going here as you are going for the other route. In fact, you reach the spinners at the exact same cycle. Oh, hey, let's go! Now time to test to see if it's even possible, or like, remotely so. Because this is like the fastest I could have possibly done all that. Hey, it is! No way! That's kind of crazy. If I if I had um, gotten the long jump and gotten speed off the... No way. I need to be going for that. I've wasted the last two hours because I wasn't going for that. I think that's the fastest you can possibly go. That might actively be the fastest you can possibly go in this game. That's kind of crazy. Huh. That's a big revelation for two hours in. Wow. That is crazy. I need to keep that in mind. From now on, all runs are gonna look like this. Wait a, waste a second waiting at the start? Do that. Boom, bam, bop, okay. I still have to hit slope speed and then do the perfect um, elevator section to get the cycle. But if I did, then I would be even further ahead. Because my elevator entry would be like 2 point... or 22.4? 22.3 is what it'd have to be to get the cycle. That might be too early. Yep. The, the second jump was too late. Yeah, same there. Or was it too... No, it was too late. Um, yeah, okay. I think I just did the exact same jump three times in a row. surprised how effective this music is at calming me down. This would be mauled inducing. Especially the realization that second cycle is possible. If I do a highlight reel, that's what the highlight reel would have in it. What's up, Roblox man? Yo, I'm still angry at you, Roblox man. 
ये ये दी आज दास रे दास भी रे अपडेट द लीडर बोर्ड how how dare you ask me to do the thing that i promised i would do in the community the leaderboard hurts my soul sometimes with how big it is what am i doing with how big it is i mean it, it's it makes my soul happy because there's a lot of people that are interested in speedrunning but it makes my soul hurt because i'm like i'm going to have to update like 100 times a week and then it becomes like full it's not full time by any means it's just a lot to do and i can't do it constantly because then it does become full time and then i'm wasting my life but if i do it like once like a weekend once every weekend yeah it's pretty cool it's crazy as i still have time this weekend this is thursday night i guess it's more like friday morning now but thursday night friday morning whatever to just vibe and play the game. I think my music turned off. Where's my loop? Loop it, please. <laughs> All right, if you saw that, then you can type getting over it into the comment. Actually, not getting over it, because everyone's going to do that. Type you loser. <laughs> What kind of loser doesn't keep his music looping for hours? I've never actually gotten that notification. The keep watching on YouTube notification? That must be like a two hour, 30 minute thing. Ooh! Let's go. I don't remember if that was first cycle or second. Whoops. I uh, guess we'll find out. When we get to the spinner. Uh, well, we'll find out because I'm gonna be an idiot and lose out on the fast cycle. <gasps> I think it was first. Then, no, what am I doing? Okay. No. Nope. Bad. Use what I'm doing differently now. Yes! Okay, there we go. Was that first cycle? I can't remember. I keep accidentally doing first cycle, I think. I mean, it felt like second cycle a lot. I mean, we'll find. I guess we won't find out. Stop! I'm doing first cycle. long hair. I forget that sometimes. It's like a foot long. Fun little me fact. If you ever see a scrawny lad that looks like he plays MMO all night, we should be going to sleep. Ah, oh, that was good. I think that was second cycle too. Wow. I had to have been first. Because I wasn't going that fast. That might have actually been a good one. I would have already said. I thought it was a normal jump off the moving platform. I ain't got time for you. You don't realize what I've been doing all night. 
There's your, there's your smile. I don't want this one. Okay, good. Because I forgot it was number one. Two. Second cycle. Second cycle. I got a short term memory loss. I mean, the two, like 0.3 seconds it takes me to realize that I've made the strat. I forget if I was doing first or second. So now second cycle. It's like tying a knot around your finger, except in real time. There we go. Dang. <laughs> I must be tired. Errors like that are not common among not not tired and speed mans. It's funny how long it took me to realize that the music had stopped looping. That had probably been like a solid two minutes where I just like sat there like, is it gonna start playing again? Okay, come on. This is good. So far we're in good potential... Okay, that was a bit late. That lagged me back. Dang. Contrary to belief, um, I learned this the other day. Watch around the time that it crushes me, right when it hits my head. When you crouch, it crushes your, uh, higher. Your hitbox does not get smaller when you're crouching. Because people have asked, like, why don't you, uh... Was that the first cycle? I'm such an idiot. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna lose it anyways. Every time I get that, and I'm like, was that the first cycle? I'm like, how do I not remember? I was just there, like, two seconds ago. Was that the bite of 87? Was that the bite of 87? I have the world record for beating a getting over with a controller. Uh, it was like maybe three minutes forty one seconds, and it's not impressive. It's just I'm the only one who does it. I give myself 10 more attempts. 10. 9. 8. One more that I get a high jump on. Alright, one more that I get speed on. That's all. One more potential attempt is what I'm saying. None of these crummy little baby attempts where I don't even get speed.
<laughs> I beg of you. Just one. Just one attempt. One more is all I ask. I get pollen allergies real bad in the spring. Well, I mean, I have pollen allergies year-round, but like they get real bad in the spring because that's when plants get busy. It's not very fun because pollen is everywhere. I'm essentially allergic to the air for like a quarter of the year, really a half of the year because late winter, early summer is just about as bad as peak time spring. Uh, but it's what's weird about it is it's not just pollen because of how allergic to pollen I am like raw fruits the uh, proteins that make up raw fruits are similar enough to the uh, proteins in pollen I guess just the makeup genetic makeup of pollen something about whatever that my brain gets confused my brain sees raw fruits as pollen so I can't, like, eat apples during the spring, for instance. Okay, here we go. Last good run of the- Okay, fine. Let's get one pass there. Because now I'm a gamer and I remember how to do it. Just wait a little longer, dummy. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me, please. I spent all this time. <laughs> And it's all been for naught. <laughs> I mean, I've thrown a lot of attempts, but it's all been for naught, like in the long run. The journey. The, the record was the friends we made along the way, I suppose. Please. I think I'm just too tired for this strat. It's really like physically taxing. Because you're just doing the same like inputs over and over and over and over. And mentally taxing too. Because like you feel like you're doing it the exact same way every time and it just doesn't work. Because like I can start there, I can do that, do that, do that, and it just doesn't work. I, it looks like I'm hitting the same part of the spinner, and it just does not work. Jump there, do that, do that, no speed. Jump there, go there, do that, do that. I didn't hit the high jump, that's my fault. Jump there, do that, do that, hit the high jump this time, no speed. Maybe I need to be jumping earlier. I felt like one frame earlier. Whoops. Okay, early on this half, late on that half. Hey, yeah, that felt better. Early on this half, late on that half. Whoops, a little too early. Early on that half, late on... That was about the same. Early here, late here. Nope. Early here, late here. Nope. Slightly less early here, slightly less late here. Nope. Next time the song ends, I'll call it.
it's fine when you know you're gonna fail. But when you, like, don't know, and you normal jump instead of high jump, and you're like, well, that could have been the one. That's when it hurts a little. Or, like, when you high jump and get no, no speed like I did there for a second. That's when you're like, this is my life now. Doing this trick. Hey, I'll never relive the glory days when I hit it three times in a row, though. That was sick. I'm still thinking about that. I'm like, wow. I, you know what's funny? I'm gonna look back at it. I'm gonna look back at it in editing, and I was like, not even three in a row. It just felt like three in a row. Because I was an idiot. And I hyped it up a little too much. The noise I made was like an out-of-body experience, so like, I don't know, yeah, yeah. whatever. My calling card. Get mad at Stickman. Get excited at Stickman. Whatever. Obligatorily, I have to play for another 15 minutes because I can't let that be near the end, because if someone clicks through, they're gonna hear me making that noise. Speaking of, if you happen to be here, right now, uh, type, like, Scary Maze Game. That's random enough, no one would guess it. Because I think it's funny that someone would watch two and a half hours of me jumping left to a wall, jumping right. Oh, <gasps> speed! Speed, 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 speed! I have the speed. Let's go. Okay, I didn't have the speed. I just wanted to see if I could get it twice. I did. Wait, why am I going? I said that was the last play of the song. And I gotta run with speed, which were both of my fail conditions. Oh, yeah, obligatory 15 minutes for, uh. Yeah. I'm just imagining the files corrupting. Or like Audacity's like, I don't want to do this anymore. It just gives out. That'd be really funny. <laughs> That'd be really, really funny. Save it as wave file because that looks better. MP3 is fine. It's like compressed. The problem with compressed audio is it never sounds good. So I'm gonna try my <laughs> Nope. Well, it's fine. It's still fine. It's still fine. Come on. Slope speed. Why did it not high jump? I mean, I know exactly why it didn't high jump. I didn't press the button in time, but why? Why me? I'm right there. I'm so close I can taste it. How am I so close I can taste it? I don't think I've gotten a single good run out of elevators. Oh wait, I did. I got the two runs. They both died at, um... The one died at stairs and the other died at crouch... Crouch glitch. I'm pretty sure the one that died at crouch glitch was both crouch glitches, actually. Which is annoying. Alright. And with that playthrough of the song... Shout out to Ease Jammy Jams for two and a half hours of free music. This one is underrated. Alright, thank you for coming along for the ride. I am so tired of doing this over and over again. I am glad I won't have to anymore. Because it's like, whatever. Obligatory refresh percent attempt. Eh, it's not gonna matter. As long as I get the slow speed. What, it saves me like 0.3 seconds in a category where the second place is like 12 seconds behind? I don't think I need to worry about that right now. Alright, yeah. This game is, uh, insufferable. 
the strats that I have to do, insufferable to get any percent world record these days. Doing this for two and a half hours is probably the least of the things I want to be doing right now. But I have to, because if anyone's gonna do it, it's gonna be me. At least right now, until we come up with more strats. Then maybe, but like, I don't know, I just don't see it happening anytime soon. Like, anybody else picking up on it. By the way, Tass has already finished the refresh percent by this part, which is insane. I am not getting world record here. Too many mistakes. It'll be like a sub 30 probably. If I can keep this up though. Got too many of those. I'm surprised that one made it. Oh, why? I was at two! I was at two away! No way! That's comical. I think I could have made one more and it would have been fine. Wow. Alright, calm down, Ease Jamie James. Calm down. Yeah, we have our, um, we have our differences, you and I, Ease Jamie James. Thank you for watching. If you watched all the way to the end, that's fun. That's really cool. I appreciate it. 2.30, 2 hours and 30 minutes of this. Of nothing but this. Yeah, this game takes a lot. This game's gonna take a lot to get any further pushed on. Aside from maybe Einsteiner, I'm probably the most technical, technically skilled player in this game right now. And I still, it's only every like 20, Every 20 or so runs, I get speed. Of course, there are flukes where I get more, but like, on average, man, it's crazy. This game is so, so hard. There's so much that goes into one of these runs, but hey, I mean, I'll take it. It's, I'll, I'll take it. It's not perfect. But the run will never be perfect. If the task can get 54.1 sometime in the future, distant future maybe, someone's gonna get a 54.1. The task doesn't do anything super crazy, it's all just tight timing and, and technique. So, we're still two seconds behind, two and a half seconds behind really. So, I think we can shave off some more time. It's just gonna take time. It's gonna take time and it's gonna take patience. This is only one night of attempts, but I'm gonna do more. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe next week. Maybe once summer hits and I can focus less on the important things in my life and more on this Stickman game. But yeah, I'll leave you guys to your Stickman games as well. Good luck to all you runners of all categories. This game is rather fun. And I think I think it's it's nice to play. When it's fun, that is, it's nice to play. It's not so nice to play when you can't do anything. It's hard yeah, to spend two and a half hours and get nothing. <laughs> Basically nothing out of it. But hey, it's fun. It's a fun game when it's not mind-numbingly boring like this. At least the old strats were fun. I, I always got to be playing the rest of the the rest of the game, especially elevator skips. That was like, what a cool and what a cool strat. And now we don't get to do it. <laughs> we get to do it once every like twenty or so runs. I don't know. I'm bittersweet towards this category because it is my my pride and joy. Any percent is my baby, man playing this since the game came out. So is everyone else. It's not just mine, but yeah, pride and joy. And, and the thought that it would be the death of me as well. So hard. So hard to play. And for extended periods of time too. I think the getting over it music saved me this time around, but it might not in the future. I need to space it out, I think. Who knows, maybe I'll do like a uh, daily 30 minute updates but as of now this is this is it i'm going to turn it off good good night to me but 
thanks for watching if you happen to have made it this far. And if you just click to the end, how, how dare you? How dare you? I spend two and a half hours and you can't even spend one minute. You can't even spend one minute. You click right to the end and now you're here. You saw the project updated. You thought maybe I got it. Nope. Not tonight. Tonight's, tonight's not the night. I'll give it one. I'll give it a hell. I'll give it a hell Mary just for you. I'll give it a hell Mary. It's not gonna happen, but I'll give you a hell Mary. Hell Mary. Ooh! What if? Imagine. <laughs> Imagine the hail mary. No, <laughs> no, that is funny though. All right, peace out. Cheers.